Welcome to the Duck Milk Prod YouTube channel. My name is Rebecca Johnson, and this live stream is part of a series I am calling Reading Reviews with Rebecca, which will analyze the critical reception of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice through the lens of 38 of the negative reviews written by top critics from Rotten Tomatoes, one review at a time. Today, we're going to be reading through the review from the Toronto Star titled Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice and Overblown Mess, colon, review. Uh, written by Peter Howell. There's a sentence in here where Peter says, quote, I counted exactly one joke already revealed in the trailer, unquote. Counted exactly one joke, just one. Hmm. This is a very familiar talking point to me because in 2016, after BVS was released in theaters, I was actually on a panel talking about DC films and TV shows at Dragon Con and a very similar argument was made. I considered that, uh, that Batman v Superman and Dawn of Justice had a lot of humor in it. I guess I'll have to lie on this one. Don't you like being called a liar for telling the truth? I love it. It's it's one of my favorite things. My first question about that, just that real uh, short clip, which was actually recorded by some friends of mine who were just recording the panel so that I could have it later. And they told me later after the panel was over that this guy called me a liar and got up and left um, for, for saying BBS had humor in it. <laughs> so uh, it sounded like when I went through there to try to get the the captions in there correctly, it sounded like he said he had seen it 23 times, which, I mean, for a guy who doesn't seem to like the film, uh, watching it 23 times is a strange thing. Also, I saw it, I, I mentioned earlier, I saw it 15 times in the theater. I, I knew at that point there was <laughs> there was humor in it. Um, so it's uh, it's weird to me uh, that people would come away with the idea that there was only one joke in the film. And I hate to tell Peter and the guy, I don't know his name, God bless him. He might be a fine upstanding gentleman. I don't know. Uh, but the guy who called me a liar, uh, they're either bad at math or they don't have a sense of humor because there are moments of levity that are in the film intended to make the viewer laugh and sort of break up some of the, the tension and the dramatic stakes that are happening. So what I've done is I've collected some moments of humor, humor throughout BBS that I think most people would find funny. Not everybody's going to think everything is, you know, not, uh, not everybody is going to think that the same things are funny. Um, but I tried to find clips from, uh, the film that would uh, make most people laugh or at least smile. And I don't want to explain jokes too much because I think it ruins their appeal and sort of takes away some of the power of the comedy. Uh, but what I think is interesting here, if we're going to uh, <laughs> disprove, disprove this claim that there's only one joke in the film, all we have to do is find two. I think we can do it. I don't know about anybody else, but I think we can do it. So I'm going to play a couple of clips uh, just to get in there to show that there was humor, that there were little comedy bits in the film. And uh, we'll talk uh, afterwards about uh, what characters were used and uh, and how they were used in, in, in doing multiple things uh, throughout these scenes. So uh, let's, uh, let's go to Perry White first. Crime wave in Gotham. Other breaking news. Water wet. <laughs> One of my favorite things about that clip is at the very end, after Perry uh, makes his little water wet, you can you can see Jenny laughing at him uh, because she pro she's probably no known all about Gotham and <laughs> all the crime that's in there. Uh, let's let's go to Perry again. Economy plus. Coach. Oh, I would say that's that's two. That that feels like two to me. Uh, I mean, Perry, Perry's a pretty good mind for this. Let, let's let's go to another one. Where does he go, Jenny? I don't I don't know. I'm going to count that as three because it makes me laugh that Jenny's like, I don't know, Perry. I don't, I don't know where he's going. I, I don't know. It, it feels like Jenny has to deal with that all <laughs> because Jenny and Perry seem to work together quite a bit. So that makes me laugh. Uh, so uh, and if it doesn't make you laugh, I'm sorry. I really wish that would make you laugh because it, it, it makes me um, laugh enormously. Since, since we're really cooking with Perry, let's go to another one. It's called a bullet. You shoot people with it. Number four. I'm, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it to Perry on that one. I think most people would find that funny uh, because he was really snarky to Lois. I hate to really go over overboard with Perry, but let, let's do one more with Perry. This copy, all right. <laughs> I definitely would count that as number five for uh, Perry. 
Perry White uh, really uh, uh, giving it to Clark Kent about his <laughs> his daily reporting duties. That makes me laugh because I also, you know, there's there's the debate on whether or not Perry and BBS knows that Clark Kent is Superman, uh, and there's there's uh, there's the bit of me. I hate to say the part of me, uh, but because uh, all of me thinks this, uh, all of me thinks that Perry, if he does know, is sort of <laughs> yanking Clark's chain just just because he can. He, he can make Superman write these sports stories if he wants to. Um, so I like that idea. And uh, Lawrence Fishburne, well, what a what a gem in this film. All right. So we're going to continue on. I've counted at least five at this point. Uh, so let's go to General Swanwick who we all know later is uh, Martian Manhunter, but we don't know that in this film. Uh, so we'll, we'll go to him real quick. You know, with balls like yours, you belong in here. All right, number six. We are, we are really cooking, y'all. Uh, we were told there was, there was only one joke in this film, but I, I feel like we're, we're fine. We're, we're digging deep. All right, so let's, uh, let's go to some of the uh, Batman moments. Surprisingly, Batman had a lot of, <laughs> a lot of moments of lev levity and uh, laughs. Let's continue on with Batman. <laughs> Batman's in trouble. <laughs> he is he has punched a Superman who has his powers back. Uh, let's continue on with Batman and, and roll with him for a bit. You find this beer? I've been a little busy. He's been busy, Superman. He's been doing stuff. And in, in that same scene, let's uh let's dig in, into another one. Is she with you? I thought she was with you. I think that's the one joke that they they think that is in the film. Uh, but it's not the only joke. Bruce Wayne's got one more, I think, at least in him. I like those shoes. He likes those shoes, Mercy Graves. He's he's totally, completely drunk, and he just wandered in there. It's not like he's been trying to steal something from Lex Luthor. He, but, but he really likes your shoes, genuinely. I've got three clips left. Uh, we're going to go to some Lex Luthor moments and uh, see what Lex has to say. Wow, that is a good grip. You should not pick a fight with this person. <laughs> it's funny because he does pick a fight with that person. Uh, so, so that's good stuff. All right, so one more from Lex. This has a little bit of Diana in there. And this one is more, uh, you have to you have, to have uh, some knowledge of Wonder Woman's story in order to think this, this is funny. And for that, he was given a thunderbolt. Choo! That seems unfair. Yeah, so Diana rolling her eyes. I think most people thought that was funny when they saw that in the theater. And we're going to end up with uh, Martha uh, Kent because, you know, Martha's are wonderful. So we're going to end in our little time of comedy here and uh, we'll, we'll uh, tally up the total <laughs> when we come back from this. I figured the cape all right so how many did we have in just this this little uh experiment that we did so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so i personally found 13 moments of levity of humor in the film and these were not even uh all of the bits that i would have pointed to 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 say were funny i know uh, when i saw it in the theater um a lot of times people would laugh after Superman busts through the wall. He um, <laughs> he saves Lois uh, by taking the general through the wall. A lot of people laughed at that moment. It sort of makes me chuckle when Lois says, I'm not a lady, I'm a journalist. Uh, some of those, even there was a lot of moments with Alfred, they were a little too long to play. Uh, so I didn't include those. But Alfred had a lot of great uh, bits of comic relief. Um, so <laughs> so just in that in that little experiment, We've totally disproven this. There was only one joke argument uh, that people are putting forth, whether it be the guy at Dragon Con who called me a liar or Peter Howell who wrote this review from the Toronto Star.